I think, Julie, you know, when the immediate treatment is over and we've had a few months of treatment finishing, side effects settling, and we're looking six months, 12 months, even five years down the track, when we've had teeth extracted or we've had some damage to our jaw, our saliva, and often these patients, unfortunately, can't return to work and they're still left with not enough teeth to be able to chew their meals, even if they can cope with that. Um, there's the access to um, public dentistry or um, Medicare supported benefits to um, acquire dentures, plates. Sometimes that's just out of reach for some patients. So even long term down the track, they don't have a full set of um, teeth to be able to cope with eating anything other than their soft foods. So that goes to both uh, capacity to have good nutrition, but it must also go very much to how you feel about yourself and going out in public, getting to know friends and family closely again, eating in front of people. Absolutely. I think, you know, and I still have patients now um, who don't have either dentures or their plates um, or still have ongoing dental issues. And, you know, just access to care, because it is expensive, it's not covered, um, is kind of out of reach for some of those patients. Could you talk to me about particular issues orally or dentally for surgical patients? As you know, I was a radiation and chemo patient and I'm pretty ignorant and I may not ask the right questions. So what are the issues that distress or, or challenging for surgical patients and, and where can they get help? Surgical patients, depending on the type of surgery, depending on where the cancer is, and if you've had a cancer that's taken out part of your jaw and you've actually got your fibula now sitting in your jaw, then obviously um, down the track, if it's supported by the institution that you've um, been a part of, if you're able to get implants, then life becomes, you know, um, a little bit easier. But there are patients that don't have access to that type of specialist dentistry or be able to fund that. So I guess the surgical patient um, and having that type of major surgery will, will probably end up having radiation as well. So then we've got the ongoing effects of radiation. Um, so yeah, surgery patients, it depends on the type of surgery they're having and then exactly what we've done to their jaw or their oral cavity. And not only that too, Julie, you know, I guess we've all experienced it at the moment because of the pandemic that we're um, all been um, trying to cope with is that social interaction. And I've got some of my patients that no longer go out to eat um, they won't, some won't even eat in front of their family. Um, so there's, you know, it is, it's the social issues, it's the nutritional issues and, and also um, financial issues of trying to retain or gain um, your teeth and the ability to eat as normally as possible. Mm -hmm.